Big Head Pulaski, Wildland Firefighting Legend, adapted from an article by Deanna Couch, illustrated by David Kuharian. This is from the genre, historical fiction. In historical fiction, authors use real events but might make up a character who is involved in the event and write fictional dialogue or other details that bring a historical event to life. Let's begin. Fire almost killed me in the summer of 1910, but it didn't, thanks to Big Ed Pulaski. He rescued me and 38 other wildland firefighters and became a legend. I was battling wildfires in northern Idaho. Lightning had started the fires, and high winds had scattered them in every direction. One afternoon in August, the woods burst into one giant firestorm. Flames roared through the canyons. The smoke and heat were so intense that I could hardly breathe. We had to get out of there. Fast but there was nowhere to go. None of us knew those mountains, and we could hardly see. Heavy smoke had turned day into night. Men stumbled in every direction, crying and yelling, trying to escape the suffocating inferno. Then I saw him, Forest Service Ranger Edward Pulaski, Big Ed. He was on horseback, pushing through the flames. Follow me, he ordered. There's an abandoned mine shaft nearby. Our one hope is to make it to that tunnel. With the fire bearing down on us, we raced for the mine. Trees toppled down around us. Raging, whipping flames were everywhere. I'm not going to make it, I choked. Lie down on the ground, ordered Pulaski. Don't any of you dare sit up unless you want to suffocate. The tunnel is filling with gas and smoke. The canyon outside was a blazing furnace. Smoke and fire poured into the tunnel. Then the mine timbers caught fire. Again and again, Pulaski filled his hat with water from a channel in the mine and threw it on the burning timbers. He soaked his horse's blankets and hung them over the mine entrance to keep back the flames. When the blankets began to burn, he soaked them again. The fire had burned itself out. I looked around and saw Pulaski and some others struggling to stand up. We'd survived. Staggering, we headed towards the nearest town. Injured and burned, we were covered with mud and ashes. Pulaski was blind. His hands were burned. We crawled when we could not walk, stumbling over charred logs and smoking wood. Somehow we made it.